And so it was that the once proud kingdom of Glenbrook did fall. Esfrost seized control of the Crown City, threatening to bring the surrounding domains under its iron yoke. Now the Archduke's army marches upon House Walford's stronghold. Of course. Where Prince Roland is being sheltered by his loyal friends and allies. Part 7. I mean, Chapter 7, Part 1. Let's zoom out a little bit and see if there's anything else going on outside. I don't see nothing out there. This yes, Frosty's the Archduke enters White Home Helm Castle to see the power in Glenbrook and lays claim to the throne. Okay. Let's see how this goes, mate. Your most honorable siblings, Lord Thallus and Lady Erica, have arrived, my lord. Thank you for the escort. You may go now. If there is anything else that you require, anything at all, you need but say the word. In that case, I would have a bottle of the realm's finest wine and a serving of fresh fruit delivered to my quarters. But of course, milady, I shall have the servants fetch it at once. Traitor. Ever eager to please, isn't he? I believe the word you're looking for is sycophant. Congratulations on bringing Glenbrook to its knees, brother. It's a thing of beauty, what you've accomplished. I trust you're already seeing to that fuss outside the castle walls? Of course. The other domains are putting up little in the way of resistance. Lord Tellior trembles in his seat within the stronghold, and Lord Fox was oblivious to what was happening until it was far too late. How easily the three high houses of Glenbrook break under your iron boot, brother. Wolford is the last to hold out, but of Laura will deal with them. Prince Roland will be in our hands before long. Speaking of royalty, brother, I would have thought Cordelia would be dead or rotting in jail. Yet here she sits on the throne. She looks less a vanquished princess and more a queen. That is precisely what I would have her be. Whatever do you mean? Once things have calmed, I shall assume guardianship over her and have her crowned. <sighs> A few days hence, Regna will be executed. I've already informed Patriot as much. So the wise and benevolent King Regna meets his end at last. <laughs> Father! Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Something's cooking. Something cooking in the pot. Subjects of Glenbrook. I am Gustadolf, Archduke and High Commander of the Grand Duchy of Esfrost. Hear my words. The sins King Regna has committed against us and against you, his own people, are grievous indeed. What has he done to us? <sighs> Three decades have passed since the end of the war. In the years since, we have all done what we can to rebuild our nations. The opening of the Grand Norzelian Mines was to be the dawn of a new age. An age where our three nations would work together for the peace and prosperity of all. But King Regna spat in the face of that glorious dream. As our engineers worked tirelessly to put success within reach, your King Regna schemed in the shadows to seize control of the mine for his own profit. And when Dragan Esfrost, my dear cousin, and the man tasked with overseeing the mine's operations became aware of this plot, 
King Regna had him assassinated in cold blood. In doing so, he betrayed not only my own nation and the holy state of Hyzant, but you as well. The very people who were to share in the wealth the mine would bring. And so we were left with no choice but to march on Whiteholm Castle and put an end to Regna's treachery by force. Mm. Our actions were born of a righteous duty to avenge Dragan's murder and this odious betrayal of this historic accord between our nations. What say you, King Regna? Do you deny these charges against you? <sighs> I do not. But I beg of you, spare my children. Subjects of Glenbrook, your traitor king admits his guilt before you. The punishment for these crimes is death. Off with his head. Roland. Cordelia. The future of our kingdom is in your hands now. Damn. Off with his head. Just days after the fall of the Crown City, King Regna of Glenbrook is beheaded before his subjects. Mm -mm -mm. The death of this kind and benevolent monarch plunges the realm into confusion and chaos. With the king perishes an all-too-short-lived era of peace. And in its place, one of bloodshed and turmoil. Damn. Okay. News of Glen Book's fall reaches the Citadel of the Sands. In the far off holy, uh, in the far off holy, holy state of Hyzen, where the great battle of the South Iron War was fought so many years ago. Minister Sorsley. What is it this time, Booker? Booker. We've just received word that S. Frost has launched a surprise invasion of Glenbrook. Whiteholm burns as we speak. Whiteholm. What's this? The Crown City has fallen. King Regna was beheaded. And it is said Crown Prince Franny also perished in the fray. Prince Roland has fled to the domain of House Woolfort with the Grand Duchy's army in close pursuit. Hmm. Goddess forbid. What could the Archduke be plotting? And what did the others think of the manor? At any rate, I must speak with the Hierophant at once. Minister, if I may assuage you, I propose that perhaps this situation may yet play to House End's benefit. Our benefit, you say? Indeed. Indeed, you may have the right of it. My dear Booker, whatever would House End do without you? Send a bird to the palace. Tell them that the Holy One's faithful servant Sorsley would humbly beg an audience. At once, Master. Damn, what else is cooking, bro? Lord Silvio Tellior, head of one of Glenbrook's three high houses, ponders what the future holds for his demise. Demise. Domain. Itchy. <sighs> Whatever is House Tellior to do. Tellior. With King Regna gone. We must find a way to preserve ourselves.
Landroy, that proud fool, will no doubt fight to the bitter end. But House Fox alone is no match for the Grand Duchy. Uh, yet if House Wolford were to fight at their side, mm. they say Prince Roland is in Wolford's charge. If this is true, there's a good chance they will join the fray. Or will they? No, you thank him, boy. The Wolforts may choose to ransom the prince to Esfrost in return for amnesty for their own domain. Mm. If it comes to that, Esfrost will either kill the prince and princess or use them as their pawns, and Glenbrook will fall. Bending the knee to Esfrost may be our only hope if we are to live to see tomorrow. Don't do it, Silvio. Don't do it, bro. You keep fighting the good fight, bro. Don't you succumb to despair, bro. High house, bro. High house. Damn, bro. This shit's spreading everywhere. Lord Landriel, folks. King Regnus, loyal bannerman since the days of the salt, Iron Salt War, receives news of his leech grim fate. Oh, man. He gonna be pissed, bro. He gonna be pissed. You gonna kill this boy. You killed this boy. Your Majesty, House Falks has failed you. I have failed you. Damn. Hi, House. Damn it all. When you needed us most, we were not there to answer the call. How did we not see what they were plotting? How did we not know to go to your aid? Cursing our fate will not bring you back to us. We must focus our efforts on the one who might yet save Glenbrook from downfall. We must protect Prince Roland with our lives. Boy. Minister Patre, advisor to the king, conducts a, convert, a covert investigation of the crown city under pretenses of a route inspection. But to what end? It would seem things have calmed outside the castle walls. What is to become of us now? Word has it the King's Guard's been slaughtered to the last man. We must flee while we have our lives. If they meant to kill ordinary folk like us, wouldn't they have done so already? Even as frosty dogs have some honor then. Who'd have thought? Anyway, there's no point fighting. What'll be, will be. Our people seem less resentful of Esfrost than I would have expected. No doubt due to the Archduke's decision to focus their attack on the castle and leave the town itself unscathed. Hmm. So the common folk won't be a problem. That just leaves the matter of the royal family. His Grace and the Crown Prince have been dealt with, and Princess Cordelia has been brought to heel. Prince Roland is the only one unaccounted for, but the men I arranged for hunt him down as we speak. Word has it there's also a sizable bounty on his head. No, he'll not last long. I knew Gustadolf to be a shrewd man, but his attention to detail is nothing short of astonishing. I have seen all I would. Let us return. Having made their escape by boat, Serenor and his uh, retinue finally make their way back to Wolfwort de Mays. Uh, but what awaits them there? Okay.
Lord Serenoa, think the heavens are safe. It is good to be home. Castle Wolfort is the most impregnable stronghold in all the kingdom. You will be safe here, your highness. Thank you. I can only hope Father and Sir Maxwell are safe as well. Benedict, there is news. What's the matter, Benedict? You look as if you've seen a ghost. Mm. Your Highness, my lord, pray try to remain calm. His grace was beheaded at the Crown City not bells ago. Father, no. Say it is not so. Roland. I can only imagine what you're feeling now, Your Highness. But I fear we have not the luxury of grieving. As the last living heir to the throne, there is no doubt that the Archduke will target you next. Indeed. We must move quickly. I would seek Father's counsel. About Lord Seymour. Uh-oh. Hmm? What is it? Has something befallen Father? Uh-oh. He croaked. He croaked a little bit last time we seen him. Oh, Lord. Father! Lord Simon, what is the meaning of this? He collapsed when he heard the news from the Crown City, and has not opened his eyes since. Damn. You must be mad. The man was stronger than an ox. We cannot afford to lose Lord Simon. Not now, of all times. Father, be strong, Father. This realm still needs you. I still need you, Father. Father. Oh. Sarah Noah. Is there any chance he will recover? Our healers are doing everything they can, but none can say. Very well. Damn. Do not give up hope, Zeranoa. The malady will not take your father easily. Forgive me, Roland. I can only imagine what you feel now. I must stay strong. I cannot allow father's death to be in vain. You too must remain composed. For Lord Simon. And for those who now look to you for guidance in his stead. I will try. Pardon me, my lord. I come bearing a message. From whom? The scout we had sent in search of Sir Maxwell returned with this. Damn. Sir Maxwell's mask. Reports have it that it was found near Whiteholm Bridge. Blood. No, it cannot be. This mask was all that was found, you say? The bridge was all but overflowing with the bodies of the fallen. It was not possible to ascertain all of their identities. And the swift course of the river thwarted any efforts to search further. I see. He done lost Thank everything. Thank you for the report. Get some rest. You have earned it. He lost everything. Yes, my lord. Sir Maxwell, you too abandoned me now? <sighs> that boy's going through it, boy. <sighs> At Gustadolf's command. S. Frost musters its forces at Whiteholm Castle and commences a march on the Wolfort Domain.
their aim to seize in their clutches Prince Roland, the unwilling heir to Glenbrook's throne. <laughs> oh my god. As the as Frosty army advances on Castle Wolfort, another cr uh, crisis looms large for Serenor and Prince Roland. God, more drama, bro. It's more, it's more drama. How much, how much drama you want? You want some fucking whipped cream with the drama? Some cherry on top, bitch? You thought this was it? It's more. Our Lord, <laughs> the as Frosty army advances on us as we speak. To be continued, bitch. <laughs> A missive has arrived from Lord Gustadolf. It says they will stand down. On the condition that we surrender Prince Roland to ain't them at once. It ain't happening. We've not much time before they're on our doorstep, my lord. Word has it that General Avlora herself heads the vanguard. Gustadolf's not taking any chances. The scheming bastard. <sighs> Summon the War Council at once. We must take swift action. They explain in their thing. You cannot be serious about this. It's all right, Frederica. Please continue, Benedict. Thank you. Once more, I would ask you plainly. Do we or don't we relinquish Prince Roland to Estrost? I say we refuse. We owe Sir Maxwell that much. Precisely. Sir Maxwell entrusted us with keeping his highness safe, and we accepted. There's no place in the realm more sheltered by the terrain than this castle. He is safer here than anywhere. And yet, if the Archduke were to march on us with an army as great as the one that took the Crown City, or, heaven forbid, a greater one, the natural fortifications of this land would work against us. Our shelter would become our jail. Mm. So you propose that we just abandon him? That we sacrifice his life for our own protection? Better my life than any of yours. This is my battle. I would not see the blood of my friend spilt in my name. But see, your highness, that's where you're wrong. House Wolfort's the sword and shield of the crown. You go to battle, we go with you. So it's always been. Enough! I will leave before I see your domain ravaged by fighting. It is the only way. Surely you see this, yes? I refuse to believe sacrificing any of us is the correct path. My lord, we cannot allow war to come to the Wolf Fort domain. Your highest priority must be to your loyal subjects. Uh, you must decide. I care! Ha! <laughs> Save my kingdom or save my boy. Ah! <laughs> I cannot render a decision here and now. There must be some solution. As his vassal, I must fight to protect the prince. But as their lord, I must ensure my people's safely, safety. We cannot hope to win against Esfros. But if we do nothing to stop them, then many will lose their lives. My people are gonna die though. I'm gonna side with my wife on this one. We must protect the prince. Ah, we gotta protect him, man. We cannot hope to win against Esfrost, but if we do nothing to stop them, many will lose their lives. Indeed, all paths are fraught with danger. In which case, we ought to choose whichever option ensures our survival. If we live, 
we can reclaim what we've lost. So we'd be buying ourselves some time. As the master of this domain, you and no other must decide how we proceed. Ah. Uh. I understand that, Benedict. Prepare the scales of conviction. Ah! I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my God. I don't think I could do it. Oh, we got we got a character. Yeah, we got a special character now. What is the realm coming to? Hail, fair maid. Well, if it is an Arador, have a seat. You've ample choice. Who are you and what have you done with the barkeep? <laughs> the one I know ain't prone to melancholy. She is when word of a fellow barkeep's misfortunes reaches her. It's all in this letter. People are taken to plunder and to survive this war. And my friend's tavern was destroyed beyond repair. Here's hoping your fine establishment escapes unscathed. I... I can't bear to think of what I'd do without this place. My heart goes out to you. As if times weren't hard enough with customers. <sighs> I can't think straight for worrying so much. You're a soldier, aren't you? Can't you just go out there and crush your enemies so we can be done with all this? <laughs> If only it were so easy. What I wouldn't give to wield a flagon every day instead of a blade. Never took you for the type to make excuses, Arador. Arador is doing everything he can. The realm suffers because of my failings. Forgive me, Lord Woolfort. It was hardly my intention to blame you. What with things being as they are... I haven't been myself these days. But enough of this. All the moping in the world won't change a thing. It's time for action. My lord, as you can see, I'll have no choice but to shutter my tavern if the war doesn't end. And soon. So let me join you. I think you'll find that pour and ale isn't the only trick I have up my sleeve. Mm, oh really? Ah, but where are my manners? Pasabar is the name, my lord. At your service. A barkeep I may be, but good drink isn't the only way I know how to heal what ails people. I can vouch for that, my lord. Hasabar is good to have around in a pinch. Oh, really, Erador? I see no reason to refuse. You are most welcome among us. Ha! Heartening to see you're the decisive type. I won't let you down. And you've made a good decision as well. Couldn't have picked a better lord to serve, I tell you. Aye. I gathered that the way you're always singing his praises. I think she's a healer too. Yep. I'm gonna use her a little bit more too. First time I didn't use her as much, this time I'm changing it up. Use her more. Hold on. Let's go to the encampment real quick. <clears throat> I got new wares. Ooh, you do. God dang. Ooh, Medal of Bravery. Recruit the vet. Oh, we can recruit somebody. I mean, upgrade them. It increases the slot. Ooh. Oh yeah, we need that. But first things first. I will get that. Secret tactics. Will this give me an AP point or something? What does that do? Let's 
That's not it. It's not it either. Here we go. This don't give me nothing? Should be made to wait at the rear and advance only when necessary and once the job is done. You should make a quick retreat. <clears throat> okay. So I just wasted that. That really didn't do anything for me. Got it. You got some new items as well. Golden pinky ring? Okay. Nobody we can upgrade. Actually. I can upgrade you. I can upgrade you. Yeah, let's promote. Um, oh, both y'all are ready. I'm getting a roller. I need the power. This day shall be ours. My boy with the new swag. Oof. That swag is impeccable, boy. If I own any stuff, can you? I'll give you something tasty and take in. Don't have to sit there for seconds or thirds. Got some stuff that need taken care of if you're up to it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Let's do that. Can we get money from that? Let's do that. Let's do that. Let's definitely do that. So level 10s. We need to upgrade some people. I'll do my best. I won't let you. I got this. Shall we? I'll do my best. Understood. Hmm. Ready and willing. Aye, leave it to me. I live to serve. I will do that. Ice. Ice. Oh, ice. Okay. So that means. That means. Moving out. We'll get you in there. Mm-mm. 
Give it to him. And then... You can turn people around. Get you in the middle. Do the whirlwind. And you can hit him from behind. You can do the TP movement. Give him extra TP so you can keep shooting. You're the healer. You come up and blind one of them. Something like that. Okay. Hold up. Now. Give it to him. If you want somebody to go first, who would it be? I'll say her. Okay. Take that off. Oh. I live to serve. Put that on you. Defense. HP. Take that off for now. 111. 137. I say... Let's give it to him. You're going to be the tank anyway. So you might as well get as much health you can, as you can. So let's save. Okay. I'm gonna put everything on everybody, right? Yep, all right. Let's do... Let's do this. Wait. Actually. Yeah, let's do that. Time to take flight. a mange so it's blind him you'll get no mercy from us victory is ours there we go my pride is my shield now it's my turn what can you do be brave cleave okay can't stay too close to each other. So let's do this. Like that. For the honor of House Wolfort. Is that a healer? It is a healer. Alright. Wait your turn. Push him back. Maybe next time. Ooh. You won't beat me. Hmm.
Hold on. Hold up. Ooh, I can ram him. I can ram him. How far he's gonna go? One square. Not in the bet five squares and move forward one square. Do it. Show your ass back. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, wait. I gotta watch out for him. I'm gonna light them up right here. That ice. I'll make you proud, Grandfather. Put that decoy right there. I'll take it from here. Give y'all something to hit. It wouldn't even matter. Okay, let's do this. Down on my watch. Hello, me. Jesus. So it falls to me. Hold up. Uh, I need to move up one more. I need to move right here. Nope. Yep. Three. Most interesting. Alright, who goes after you? He does. Hmm. How are we gonna do this? Is that the only healer? Yes, it is. Will we be able? To, will we be able to hit him? To kill him? Yes, we would. Okay. Be brave. Ain't over yet. That's the stuff. <laughs> the battle is ours. Okay, that's not bad. Okay.
13. Will I have a mange soon to hit both of them? I will. Okay. Then I don't need to do nothing with him. I will get rid of the healer though. Beat him. Together. I did it. Good for you. I'll show you what I can do. Wait. Who goes after you? He does. I can turn him around. I can hit two and turn him around. Well, I can hit three. I'd rather hit three. Can I provoke him? I can. I can provoke everybody here. But let's kill one. No, he won't die. God dang it. <laughs> you got one left. Strike while the iron's hot. That's nine. Who goes after you? Okay. Wait. Two. That's three. Four. Okay. Sound strike. You're wide open. I feel stronger already. Just die already! Yeah, boy, we collecting them points. Are we not finished? Hold on. Either way I go, I, he's gonna get hit. That does kill both. I mean, one of them, not both. My research bears fruit. A waste of effort. Forward! Ooh. You said not today, homeboy. It's five. It's ten. Let's get the five. Now I end. That hit the mark. Leave everything to me. Okay, so two, it's three, it's four. So he might he might shoot him if I don't kill you. Oh, he's dead. Too slow. The hunt is on. Hold on. After you is who? You, you, 
Okay. My main concern is him. Okay. I ain't worried about them. You'll get no mercy from us. Here we go. Him, girl. I was prepared for this. <laughs> Victory is the envy. This is the end. Victory is the envy. Die already. I'll show you what I can do. Beat him. I'll take it from here. Wait. Got him. Hey, over here. I'll make you proud, grandfather. Level up, baby. Let's provoke. Come and get me. Here we go. Let's do that. Look at me learning. Steady now. It gives us time to collect stuff. Forward. Come on then. Wait. Oh, nope. That don't work. Here goes. Hmm. The hunt is on. From this range. I can still move. Right there in the back, buddy. Allow me. You're open. For the honor of House Wolford. Got him. Now I am. For my kith and kin. Kith and kin. Ooh. I need that money. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I won't be a stranger, trust me, honey. Alright, let's go back. Actually, save. Alright, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. Skedaddle. As the S Frosty's continue, uh, Frosty Army continues its exonerable march on, ha on Castle Woolfort, Sereno and his. Uh, retinue discuss the best pass for it. Look, man. Look, bruh. We ride or die, bro. Okay, we... I will give the signal when it is time to cast your vote. I ask each of you to weigh the matter carefully till then. Very well, my lord. To our own councils we go. Let me take a look around real quick, cuz. Huh?
Their hearts are divided still. A compelling argument may yet change some minds. Alas, I have an incomplete picture of the situation. I would be poor lord I'd be a poor lord if I did not hear the voice of my people. I should venture into town. Going out, my lord? Yes, I wish to ensure everything in the town is in order. Understood, my lord. When your work is done, pray speak to me once more. I will do just that. Thank you. I said return to the hall once I've spoken with the people. Perhaps I learned something that will sway some minds. Okay. Anything in here? Oh! We got an HP ring. Anything else shining? Alright, that's it. Let's search the area. If I talk to anybody. Oh, I see something shining down there. Ooh. What's this? Oh. I need money. I don't care about that. Hey, buddy. What you think? What happened, Lord Serena? We about to go to war, bro. That's what's about to happen, bro. What you talking about? Another cat. Hey, kitty. This is what it means to be a lord Barge in people's houses and take this stuff for the war effort Yeah, something scary happened Yeah, I don't see nothing. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. He did sacrifice his life, man. You gotta say, I'm. I didn't mind to make my way to the castle, but the high road's blocked. What's the meaning of this anyway? I got mouse feet at home. Okay. I don't see nothing. Silver. Is that everything? Okay. There's a paper call. There's a paper calling for the arrest of Prince Roland. It says they want him taken alive. I shudder to think that will become. I shudder to what? I shudder to think what will become of the kingdom now. If he's sold to be delivered alive, I wish they have no plans of exiting at least any time time soon. I should let know. Is it true? Has Esferos attacked the Crown City? How could the nobles have let this happen? 
Okay. Well, let me talk to my man first. I tear, I tear like none other came over me when I saw the state in which you returned, my lord. Long have I heard rumors of secret traps that dot the wolf fort to me. If the tales are to be believed, they serve to make quick work of any invaders, though I can't help but wonder why I keep such a valuable weapon secret. Secret traps. It's hard to say what this might mean for us. It might be well employed to give us an Avengers battle, but at what cost to our own? I pray we never know, never know, conflict again after the salt war, yet here we stand, peering into the abyss. Though it was Glenbrook and Estros launching an attack on Heisen all those years ago. The Holy State reeling from surprise of, from the assault, surprise assault turned to the hell. Back then, Wilford was still an independent clan that grieved to an alliance. On the day, was poor for the fire. Nation people left to freedom. So I've heard, Father told me stories of secret meetings with King Ragnar that restored peace to the realm. Indeed, it was they who brought Heisen and Fenshaw to the table. Then the war to the end. It was your father's effort that led the king to bring the house into the royal family's full as well as the knights. Boys, bring the tower. Be careful, Pawn. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Peter. I cannot allow the currents to carry me along. I must use them to my advantage to turn the tide of battle to come. Exactly so, towards Lord Simon's initiative that made him a hero. And seeing Wolf of Blood course through your veins, I know you'll live up to your family's good name. The people of the house of Wolf of the Mates are at your back. I shall take that to heart, thank you. Alright. Why is it from the tank? I thought. Was that a mere ruse? The kingdom has no true allies, nor true enemies. We shall, we shall sue for peace and work to avoid for... Nah. I share your confusion, but Frederica knew nothing of this. Pray, do not blame her for Ezra's actions. There we go. Don't blame my wife. She had no part in this, bro. Yes, of course. She is your betrothed. We too wish to believe she had no hands in this. And surely they will not come far in my where the Archduke's own sister now resides. Precisely, yes. If not in defeat, we shall defend our land to the end. Mm. I think I got everything I need. Oh! Ooh! They got to rotate the camera. Okay. I'm ready. Yes. Anything shining in here? Surrender Prince Roland and avoid conflict with S. Frosty's army. Stave off this Frosty army and protect Prince Roland. Man, we're protecting Prince Roland, bro. Like, it's not hat, bro. No. It's our duty, bro. What do you need? Roland is worth Roland is worth more to S. Frost as a political pawn than a course. They will not kill him once they have him. At least, that's how I see it. If we were to do what gives us the most hope, then Roland himself has the right of it. Will not be easily. S oh man! Protect him at all costs. Pray tell me what reason led you to your decision. I will not bet the life of our parents, my friend, on a mere. Mm. 
It won't stop the uh Nah. We won't bend the knee, bro. Possibly. I don't know. Well Expound on your thoughts. Ooh. Truth be told, I have a plan, provided the rumors I, I've heard be, are true. A plan? What rumors? Yes, I see. Ah. Uh, you have heard talk of the town's last resort, I take it. I want nothing more to believe it is real. And if it is, I agree, it could be quite a boon. I thank you for sharing your thoughts. I suppose now we'll see what fortune has in store for us. Okay. Hold up. Hey girl. Lord Saranoa. Will you surrender the prince or not? Will you choose House Wolfor or the whole kingdom? It is a question of our priorities, what matters most to us. We must protect Roland at all costs. Dang, this will not be easy this way. Okay. Uh, we must protect Roland at all costs. We need me to protect Roland at all costs. No! Can I back out? No! I'm missing one. I wonder what the third one is, man. Yes. I need time. Has been moved by my words. I don't know, man. I feel like I'm missing some stuff because that got me a little bit worried. Should I talk to the townspeople again? Yeah. Unless I just missed that, that option of having that bubble. Let me make sure I talk to everybody. Nobody in here. I already talked to you. I already talked to you. Okay. Okay. It's another cat. Alright, talk to you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I already talked to them. I talked to you, right? Yep, I already talked to you. There's nobody here. Uh. Mouth to feed, yeah, yeah, yeah. In there either. Okay, I guess that's all our options, man. Kind of, kind of sucks, but okay. Dang, come on. All right, time to go. Let's convince some more people. I gotta talk to my boy, and I gotta talk to my counselor. My lord. I had better luck talking to a stone wall. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Will for a secret weapon. Hmm. Interesting indeed. So. 
It's like I'm talking to the wall, so... Hmm. Matter of fortune. No. Of the high houses. I'm put I'ma ring up the high houses. I am decided. Alright, well, it's like talking to a stone wall, so I don't know. Sarah Noah. He would not be uh, would not be easily swayed. Dawn Star sacrifice, yeah, boy. Yeah, will it be for Sorry. not, bro? <laughs> However. Well, for a secret weapon. I wonder. To our own people in the process, we really pay that price. I can no longer discern what is right or wrong. I place my fate in your hands. It appears indifferent to your plea. Damn. All right, here we go. See what happens. I think he's gonna give himself up. I don't think we persuaded anybody. I don't think we did. It is time to cast our votes. Do we surrender Prince Roland, or do we protect him from those who would do him harm? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. He gonna say no. I am sorry. I cannot yield. Yeah, here we go. He gonna say no too. Forgive me, my lord. I'm on your side, honey. You aren't wrong, but Oh no! <laughs> Please! I agree. <gasps> Okay, I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we got it. I think we're going to protect him. The scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. Ooh. Which one is that? forward is decided we protect Prince Roland with our lives and drive Esfrost from our home let's do it oh low battery shit <laughs> let's do it I'm ready I ain't never scared he upset the judgment is made the scales tip and our path is chosen. We must steel ourselves for the battle that lies ahead. Let's do it. No, I cannot agree to this. Have you no idea how much blood will be spilt? How many will die in my name? This is a decision we have reached together. We do not make it lightly. Prepare the defenses. We will hold our own against the army of Esfros. Bring it! I'm ready for war, baby. A soul upon the scales. I'm ready for war, bro. I'm ready for the heat. I'm gonna come for my boy Nick. I'm gonna come for yours, bro. The fuck? 